Hello, I wanna show you how to identify dormant river grapes. So Vitis riparia. So come join me in the chaos. All right, so I'm in Missouri and you can usually find this just popping up anywhere near fences. You'll probably find it anywhere. I actually have it popping up in my yard, but I identified it when I was mowing and so I let it climb on sticks. And you'll notice it's a little bit of a uh, lighter color, kind of blotchy. And you can identify it as grape with these little tendrils. This is what the stem looks like. And you always want to be careful to make sure you know what you're looking at. This is different than Virginia creeper, so don't get that mixed up. But anyway, I got, I'm guessing those are part of the same um, root. This one might be separate, but I'm gonna dig all these up. So I have these popping up all over my yard and they're still dormant. I wanna dig them up. I'm gonna try cultivating riparian grapes. I went online and I looked and no one's really tried making approved varieties of riparian grapes, but they grow like crazy in Missouri. And I think that if you were to, if you were to uh, create an improved variety of these, you'd get an incredible yield just because they're so, they grow so aggressively. So that's what riparian grapes look like. Let me actually show you an older one. So I found an older one in my yard. I'm guessing this one's probably at least a decade old. So it looks like a tree. I mean, this is four or five inches around. And then, you know, I cut it off here. But as you can see, there's a bunch of new growth coming out here. And again, you can see the little tendrils. That's what it looks like dormant. So I pruned it lightly. Well, that one I just snapped off. <laughs> um, I got another runner over here. Cut it back pretty hard though, because I'm gonna try to make one of these two become the new, one of these two become the new trunk. And then I'm gonna do a cordon across the top of this fence. Anyway, that's examples of riparian grapes, and I don't know what the fruit tastes like. I haven't actually, um, I haven't actually got a fruit yield off of it yet. So I'm gonna see this next year, and if it's any good, I'll keep it. If it's not, I might just graft into it. I'm gonna experiment with grafting some um, Vitis labrusca or um, some Concord varieties or some Niagara grapes. Some of those, those are the other ones that thrive in Zone Six, besides obviously riparian grapes. So we'll see how those how those thrive and I'll see if the graft works. It's always fun to practice grafting. So I hope you see how to identify um, Vitis riparia. So a tan stem. And then you can kind of see this is the very old trunk. focuses and that's what the uh, one-year-old canes look like much grayer color than I'm used to on grapevines usually grapevines have a much more brownish darker color all right and in case you're wondering if you dig up riparian grapes this is what the cluster looks like fat looking roots. Some of this other stuff is random weeds, but those big things are roots for this grape. And as you can see, it has three, three canes. So I'll probably reduce it down to one and I'll go plant it next to a fence. And there's another one right next to it. And this looks like it's been in the ground for maybe more than a year. It's a pretty good root system off of these little tiny canes. So I'm guessing I just mowed them a few times and they just kept putting more and more into their roots because they sure would pop up quick. So I'm interested to see how this does when I put it up next to a fence. But there you go, riparian grapes, fresh out of the lawn. <laughs> Try cultivating these, like I said, see if I can get a good cultivar of riparian grapes. If not, I can just graft into it.